Okay, so we're ready to put our little orangutan together. We've got the limbs on the body here. Daisy just got up from her nap, so you can hear her flapping in the background. Um, <laughs> thank you, Daisy. Um, I got one of the, the cheaper, like, tie bodies instead of um, the plastic zip ties. And I, I'm just not, I'm not sure. I think I might like them better. Um, I feel like I can trim these ties way down in there and um, and I won't have that bump that you get from the zip ties. Somehow, sometimes that can be, that can have a sharp point to it. I'm giving this to a 13 year old so I'm not too worried about her, you know, getting cut or anything. I, I think she'll be more careful but um, sometimes, I don't know, it bothers me when I have a sharp I can't get the I can't clip the zip tie down close enough so I have that sharp little point on some of my babies. I, I try really really hard but it's it's almost like if you get too close to the zip tie you're gonna pierce the body or you might pierce the, the vinyl or I don't know. I'm I like these. The only thing I'm thinking is it's gonna be really really hard to get these open once I clip the ends. So this would be great if you were weighting a body the way you liked it and you were happy with the weighting um, and you got it just right for you it might not be so good for somebody else like like I said I, I do this weighting it's very much my own opinion and it's very much my own preference but I don't know so we've got the limbs on the little body here and then we've got the the, the ball of, or the pear shaped because I put a lot of space in the top of the stocking so this can squish around and I, I, I basically when it gets inside the body I want it to be a pear shaped. I want it to have some weight to the bum and to the belly and then have a little bit of weight up the back for almost like a backbone. If you can get my drift, if you see see how I'm holding it here like a baby, and you, you have that heavy bum, but you also have that backbone so that you know it feels solid all the way up. There's not like a little bit of waiting here and then a bunch of squishy stuffing and then a little bit of waiting here. You know, it's 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 all in one. This is a this is a whole baby body right here. And because the poly pellets are lighter than than the than the glass beads you know overall because the granules are are larger in the poly pellets so you know th this just feels good some some people might think it feels too much like a beanie baby and that may be true but once we get it in the body and we put a layer of fluff around it and you know this is going to go behind and then this belly is going to go on the front you know it it's really not going to feel as beanie as as some people might think um again my personal preference i really like having a heavy baby i slung around nine and ten pound infants when my kids were little so when my granddaughter was born and she was she was teeny 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 she was like seven two seven pounds two ounces or something like that i i swear she felt like just i was so afraid to hold her because i my babies were nine and ten pounds so we're gonna put this stocking we're gonna have to squish it out because it won't make it through the neck hole all pear shaped like we want it so i'm gonna put this in the body feed it in. Sometimes if you just get it through the neck and then you stand it up. The only thing to remember is these arm holes, these arm joints, you don't want them to pierce the stocking. So I usually put my thumbs in there and just try and shake it down. There we go. There we go. And now that we've got it in there, we can move it around as we want it. Now, again, you don't want it to feel like a beanie baby, and you don't want, you know, 
don't want it to feel too mushy. This little pocket right here, down here, that's that's always a problem. That with every baby I've had, I think I've always had to put some stuffing down there. So I'm going to take these two little tufts of stuffing and squish the beans down so I can get my hand in there. And again, this is just like you're just going to have to work it around. Sometimes if you have a stuffing stick, you just don't want to poke that bag of poly pellets. So I'm just going to... Alrighty. There we go. Just to get that little pocket in there. I'm going to put some in the back bottom part of this too because I'm sorry, I'm, this is my little space. I, I, I zeroed into this little tag and I'm going to try and stay on it. I'm sorry if I drift. I'm going to put another little tuft down just to fill out that little, that little extra bottom. Let's see how that goes. See, that's a little bit better. Oh, he's still got a lot of extra space down there. Let's see what we're going to do about this. Every baby is different, and every baby uses a different amount. And every, even though all these bodies are supposedly the same, I find that a lot of them are cut differently, and it just it happens. Every baby is different. Every baby is special. I'm going to just put some more stuffing down there. Maybe my spoon will help me get, yep. See, the spoon just guided it down so I can fill up that little pocket without packing it down too much. Oh, let's see how he's doing there. That's a lot better. See? All right, so we're going to just mush our poly pellets down there, too. I think it just needs a, one more shot of stuffing right down in the very, very bottom. work it around and just make it feel right that's that's what it comes down to but um, I wanted to show you what um, what I'm talking about with this this little implant these are little silicone implants that you can buy at the at the craft store they're very they make them for to go in bras or dresses and um, it just, if you see how that is or like that, it just makes the perfect little belly. And it feels really smooth and it, it, feels, it feels really good. So I'm going to um, flatten down these poly pellets and slide this down in. Let me see, make sure I did put it the right way. Yep, yeah, this way. Because they do have a different shape, like you don't want to go in down. Well, I don't know. Again, personal preference. This is I want all of the fat down at the bottom. So I'm going to slide this down and see how I'm working the poly pellets back out. That's why I left that extra. If I have to take some out, I will, but I'd rather start with more than less in this case. I just want the belly. I've got to push that stuffing out of the way. Put the belly in its place. And 
look at that. Doesn't it? It feels so good too. That that um that bra insert. It just feels like a little belly. Like you can feel the jelly. <laughs> it's really it's really good. I really like these. I'm gonna have to get more of them. Um, cause I mean, right there. Doesn't that look like a fat little monkey right there? I mean. That's so great, and it just feels so squishy and neat. Um, these implants were um, $19.95. I had a 50% coupon, so I got them for $10, and of course there were two. Um, so they were $5 a piece, and believe me, it's, it's well worth it. it. Just, it really, really feels wonderful. I have one in one of my dolls too, and she just, her belly feels so good. So the only place I have a little problem with here is like right, right there, there's a little, little missing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove some stuffing down there with, the, with my, with my spoon handle. That's too much. I want to start small because I don't want it to be too much. I certainly don't want to take more out. I'm just going to get it down there and then work it in and kind of fluff it up so he has more of a butt. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. Of course, you want a little bit of give too. You don't want to pack it so that it's too full. But let's see, when he's lying down, yeah. That, that looks like it'll fill out a diaper. Let's flip them over. Mm. I don't know. It's a little ripply. I think I'm going to put a little bit more stuffing down the back here. And I'm going to spread it out and just flatten it so that it is. it feels like a piece of batting instead of like a ball. You want it to be flat. I hope I'm not making things too complicated. That's I. That was not my goal when I was making this video. I wanted to show like how I do it. I, to me, it's simple because it feels right. And so, you know that that's just not. It's not the same for everybody. You just have to work it until it feels good to you because your baby is your baby. And that's the way it's gonna be. Now, okay, here we go. This is the final say-so. I'm gonna pull these ties a little bit and see what kind of a neck we're getting. I don't want it to be, to be too bunchy. And again, that belly just feels so good. Now, if I need to take some pellets out, I can because I, I didn't tighten this knot really tight. Because, you know, I've had to do that before I get up to this point. And I'm like, oops, that's not going to work, you know. So I might take a little bit out of the poly. I mean, of the, yeah, the pellets. Let's see how I feel. Let's get the head and actually put it here. And I like these, I like these shoulder parts to be pretty full because, um, I like them, I, I never have um, my babies with, with these showing, of course. Um, so I really, when, when you fill them up nice and, nice and um, not hard, but they fill out the sleeve on the onesie, and it just gives it a little bit more realism. But let's see how this is going to work here. Let's pull these strings up. And see how this monkey is. A little hard, a little hard up here. I think I'm going to take some poly pellets out 
and um, I might like a little bit more stuffing up at the top. Now to do this I just pretty much pinch out what I think I might want to take out a little bit at a time because I would have a miserable time refilling them. So I'm just going to pinch out a little and see how that is. I'm going to take a little bit more, pinching it so at the bottom and so I just, I'm just going to get rid of this much into my